So all of us know what fire is, but some people might not know what it is on a molecular mm. level. Yeah, so today we're going to be setting fire to a variety of flammable liquids just to see what's really going on. So in these flasks here, we've got liquid that is about as flammable as it comes, isopropanol or isopropyl alcohol. So why exactly are we standing here swishing these things around like this? Well, hopefully by doing this, we'll coat the surface area a bit more and it'll give off more vapour to react with the oxygen in the air. The oxygen in the flask is actually the limiting factor. So if it was just reliant on the oxygen, you might get an explosion, which is what we're hoping won't happen. Yeah. And I think that'll probably do it. Oh, cool. We all know that um, flames can burn different colours and that's based on the chemicals that are in there. So should we try some different ones and see what we can get? Yeah, yeah, definitely got that. Cool. That's the stuff. <laughs> that was a good colour. So whilst we were all cowering in fear while these things were making that incredible sound, I was kind of wondering what exactly is happening there. I don't know if there's a way that we can kind of work out how the timing of this thud, 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 thud mm. sound it was making, you know, what, what's doing that. So maybe if we chuck a clapperboard or something in at the end, That'd be awesome, yeah. we can try and sync it up with our other camera and just see what, quite what's going on. Let's slow the audio down as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the shoot. I know that we certainly did. It yeah. was awesome. It's very cool. We survived. Yeah. I'm so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you think fire looks awesome in slow-mo, because we definitely do. But don't forget, don't try any of this at home. We did it so you don't have to. And we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. Bye. <laughs> Today we're going faster than the speed of sound. And what better way to get there than by blowing stuff up? Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs>